Welcome to Pennsylvania. Welcome to West Virginia. All right, filling up the A-liner. Holds 11 gallons, and then I gotta do another six gallons for when I put the uh, hot water tank in. Fill it back up to being full once that goes in. I'll explain more of that on our next video, but this is going to be a great trip. You guys are going to love it. Uh, I'll sh let's show them the uh, back stabilizers that we have those down. Okay, we, I'm not going to show you putting down every stabilizer, but you're going to see me put up the put down the front ones. We got everything parked in place, and we got this in place. I added, put the wheel back on, jacked it back up, got it off the hitch. So, now we're going to lower the front pretty easy with the tool. And this is just, uh, you know, if I need to level it, I'll adjust it when I get inside. But I haven't, we haven't popped the top yet, so. Alright, there's that. And one more on the side. And like I said, we already did the back ones. So that way we don't bore you with putting all four of them down. Alright. Cool. Okay, so here's our electric box for this site. Um, hopefully I can figure out how to open it. There it is. Alright, so they do have the 30. And just so you know how it works for the A-liner, here's where the the 30 amp uh, plug goes. It's a uh, twist lock, so you may match the L with the L. Okay, and then twist. And then of course this thing, which I have trouble sometimes screwing this on there, but you screw it on there and once it takes, which it's on there now. Okay. And then plug it in. Make sure you're on. Let's see here. Make sure I'm on the 30. Here's the 30. Make sure you pay attention to that. The 20. That's 30. So put in the 30. The 20 is for that, actually. Yeah. So actually, it was already on. So that's the 30. This is for the 20 here. Okay. All right. So. We also will shut this back up, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Does it close all the way? It, it, well, it kind of does. It actually does. Cool. It actually protects your wire cable, which this, at, this is the first campsite where it actually has that. I like that feature. Um, so, all right, so now you know how to set the electric up. Okay, so I just wanted to tell all of you, this is the first time that Ollie and I have used the air conditioner, and we did not forget this, but I wanted to remind you guys, and not that you would forget either, but it's a good reminder, to before you use that, to make sure that you take off the cover if you had it on there. That way, you know, you're not going to burn up your air conditioner. And it's pretty simple, just like a any other regular air, window air conditioner unit. You just set the temperature and uh, and it starts cooling. So let's go inside, take a look at it. It's already getting cool. Oops. All right, so we set it. Now, Ollie and I do like it cooler. We set it at 78. Literally, you hit the power button right here. At least on our model, it's an LG model. And then of course you set your temperature here uh, lower, higher, and then of course your fan speed, which we had it at three, and we do have the energy saver on. Not that I think we really need that, but I don't know. We'll see how it does. If it if it doesn't get cool enough for us, I will definitely be taking that off because I definitely like it cool. 
anybody who knows me knows I get hot in any kind of weather and this is one of the warmer times of the year that Ollie and I go usually we like to go in the fall or in the winter time so okay so one more thing that we had that we added to the addition of our a liner is we need to add some protection because uh, I watched some videos they actually said that you know your you should always have like a hitch lock on stuff and again you know we're new campers so we're still kind of learning things and so I did buy this master lock hitch uh, lock and uh, I'll show you how I put it on here and I'm glad I, I did find out about it because I guess different people have had their campers stolen and uh, we definitely don't want that <laughs> so it's real simple put the key in put it up in there lock down the tongue and then push this back and then lock the key and no one can take it from there and you can't open this either so it's like double protection pretty cool Okay, so another thing I want to show you real quick is how to set up the fridge once you get your electric on here. Um, I usually use like, you get into the bottom vents here on your A-liner. And I can usually use my key ring to kind of twist it. You can, you can do it with your fingers too. So anyways, you just pop that off. And let's see, I'll get you in there so you can see. All right, so you set your let's see you want to turn on the right here the green button and then you want to set the uh hopefully you can see that i'm trying to see if i can get in there you want to set your fridge which i set mine at like i don't put it at seven but i put it at like six but for electric you want the green button again here is your temperature knob and i set mine at six right here's the arrow trying to get in there so you can see it this arrow here now if you were on using your battery that would be this the 12 volt and then for the gas if you're using your propane you'd be using this here's your your igniter switch hang on here let me get this here's your igniter switch and then here is your uh, how your low medium and high uh, control Okay, so three different ways of getting your fridge to work. Uh, I always use the electric, so but I I'd like I wanted to show everybody else because you know if it's your first time doing that, that can be kind of like what what do you do? <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. And uh, sorry if I didn't get you great pictures there, but um, I'm gonna put this back on the cover. So to put the cover back on, uh, all you do is you line it up here push it in there there it is make sure these are popped in push on those and then again you would twist them which like i said i use my little key ring to do that so put it on there give it a twist and then on this one give it a twist if i can get it in there okay oh, come on kind of hard to hold the camera and do that so hopefully that helps you guys and uh it's hot out here that's why i'm sweating and my wife is calling me to come in there and help her there she is inside okay see you in a while there she is waving <laughs> all right for christmas ollie got us matching a-frame shirts to match the a-liner and uh, it's got a picture of a doggy which is bluesy and uh we, we really enjoy these shirts and we wanted to share them with you i thought you guys might like them Okay, I just wanted to show you guys um, our uh, configuration here for the uh, 
dinette area. Right now, we have the tray set as the coffee table right now, which is kind of cool. You can, you can actually set the the table on the railings here. I didn't know this until I saw someone else do that on the video, on one of their videos, and uh, I really like that feature. Uh, again, you can turn it back into the table when you're ready for it, but if you're just sitting, it's kind of nice. But I wanted to show you guys some of the storage space. You don't always get to see this on everybody's A-liner video, so um, there's two ways you can get into the storage space. Number one, you can open up the, the door if you have like smaller items. Uh, but my wife and I, we put, made some containers for our clothing, and this is kind of neat. There's storage space here, over here, and then of course there's storage space under there where Bluesy's at. But this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, it looked the same way as this. And then you would just pop this up, and see, there we go. We have our clothing and stuff like that, and our tools and stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys, and it's a pretty big space. And then, like I said, there's more underneath there. That's kind of like how it is underneath the bed as well, but uh, just wanted to show you that because you don't always get to see that part of it on some of the A-liner videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what I wanted to show you today is putting the bed back into the couch. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, as you see, Ollie and I had a sheet on here for the night. Uh, I'm going to just pull that off. And let's see here. And as you see, you got three cushions um this this back one pop up and you set it straight up okay this this one you can uh this is actually going to be the one you put this up on top of the other one slide this whole unit back take this one you got a little slant there and then you got to hook the bungee cord to a hook the hook down here that way it doesn't slide back out actually it's not really a bungee cord but an elastic cord and that's it and you now have a couch and if you see you can sit back here it says it has the bubbled glass you know like I said I'm 5'10 I've said that in previous uh, videos you know and uh, this works pretty good so hey, I wanted to show you guys one other little cool uh, thing in the A-liner here. Okay, so right around where we put the bed back into the couch, um, if you lift up your your bed and then underneath here, underneath where the wheel well is, you have some extra space. It's not a whole lot because you got your some of your uh, air conditioning connectors and stuff. But this is kind of cool. You know, I got just enough space in here. I put my... Uh, hammock in there and I think later on I'll probably put like our lantern and things like that for storage purposes in there uh, but you know just like little odds and ends stuff that's perfect and each side has that underneath the uh, the the couch bed so there's the one then of course here's the the couch and over here is the other one and I have like a small little portable vacuum in there which works great for this 12 volt uh, uh, connector here or for the uh, outlet 12 volt outlet and uh, yeah so that's that's a neat little thing to have too that way you can keep like a small little vacuum that's light duty for anything that you may need to do hey Ollie it's cold. it's cold but Ollie's getting ready to do some swimming with me one of the many things you can do here at the park so when you actually stay camping at the park, the water is included, the, the beach swimming, and uh, you, they got canoe rentals as well, as well as kayaks. So pretty cool. For, it seems like they have something for everyone. They do got some basketball too, in case anybody wants to play basketball. Pretty cool little beach area. It's Jerry swimming. He's swimming around.
Nothing but net. That's how you shoot it. Here's Bluesy, sniffing in the campground. Okay, so Ollie and I are getting ready to do another exciting trail here in Maryland. And which trail is this, Ollie? Uh, this is the... Indian... Indian Turnip Trail. Indian Turnip Trail. But it trail. connects to the Snake Root Nature Trail, which is All really right. what I want to do. So we're going to get some video for you and some pictures and hope you enjoy it like we will. This is kind of cool. There's a tree growing out of these rocks here. Got some little rock found formations here. Pretty neat. Let's take a look. Hang on. Cool trail. What is it? A field of ferns. A field of ferns. Oh yeah, it is a field of ferns. Whoa. If anybody wants ferns, here's the place to get them. I would say this is like a level two, maybe level three hiking trail so for those of you who uh who like to know that it is a cool trail though lots to see back here So what is this, Holly? This is the Discovery. What what is this place called? The Discovery Center. The Discovery Center. And this is the Old Brant Mine. And it's the Old Brant Mine. They have a lot of learning things here and cool place. Shows some mining tools. Facts about Deep Creek. A lot of different things to do. Here's some coal. Some coal. Sweet. Pretty cool stuff. Salamander. Oh, he's heading back there. Hey, look. Where's the froggy? Oh, yeah. He's cool. I love turtles. Wow, look at his feet. Get him 
Come up here, babe. Here, go ahead, babe. Yeah. Is it running? All right, we're walking back to camp. As the tire says on the back of our camp, camper, I go where I'm towed. My wife towed me everywhere today. Just got back from the Discovery Center.